Hey, 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 you guys. So welcome back to Sandra Said What? And today we are going to be talking about, what are we talking about? We are talking about how, oh yeah, I remember, putting black people on the front line of injustice causes is racist as, and let me tell you why. Hi, you guys. Again, it's your girl, Sandra. If you are a new subscriber, Join our clan and let's discuss the fuckery. Okay, subscribe and leave me a comment. Share your thoughts and opinions with me. And again, subscribe so you can get my videos. If you are not new here, of course, I always welcome you back. You're one of my day ones. And we thank you for joining us. Okay, so let's discuss the fuckery. Okay, so as we know, and we're not going to get into all the history of black people in America and shit like that. We're just going to discuss how putting black people on the front line for causes as a lot of people tend to do, a lot of organizations tend to do, is racist as fuck. For example, I think on um, one of my videos, I discussed the Asian Pacific Islander current hate trend and escalated hate towards Asian Americans that they've been, getting, been receiving due to the coronavirus and stuff like that. And uh, for some reason, a lot of people were calling out to black people in the black community to come to the aid of Asian Americans. And I did talk about how black people are used as scapegoat for a lot of problems in this country. And again, a lot of organizations that want to appear appear tolerant like to hire black people in positions and give them title particularly diversity roles where um they can use and abuse that particular person and pick their brains but that person really has no say they do not listen to their opinions they do not listen to their recommendations they do not protect that person from the backlash that they receive emotionally they do not um, compensate them well and it's a whole lot of things that go on with it I remember I was um, <clears throat> in a meeting because I went to Ashland University which is racist as and I'm going to make a few videos about that i'm really taking my time to do it because ashland university is so racist in ohio and it was the most traumatic experience of my life yet and i hope it doesn't get any worse than that i remember because of all the racism that went on i ended up having to have a meeting with the president and the diversity person who actually broke down when i started saying what was happening to the black students at the school and started crying and saying how she in the diversity le leadership role had no support and was mistreated herself just because of her blackness and it's crazy how even in the highest possible roles black people still are treated like crap so again like i said a lot of these places a lot of these companies they like to have black people as the face of diversity and change and advancement and progress but they never give them the power to implement changes that could actually be beneficial not to only to black people but to the whole organization as a whole because when you keep black people back you are literally doing a disservice to your organization because there is talent that could be tapped in to advance your brand and it's not making sense so I am going to make another video also about um, about that how um, the talents is not tapped in and how racism is really stupid racist people are really stupid okay, okay so again during the pandemic a lot of people was calling out to black people to basically come to the aid of Asian Americans and I'm not against anyone standing up against the injustice towards anyone ever but I just think it's unfair how black people are supposed to be coming to everyone's rescue because black people are seen as disposable black people are seen like they are not as valuable so they need to be on the front lines just like when the u.s goes to war they put the black soldiers in front to be killed off first because black lives do not matter so in, so in you calling out for black people to come and be the front of injustice for anyone black people included it's saying that you do not see that person's life as being valuable and it is really showing that you are in fact a racist when you always want black people to come out and speak out against things just to be deemed angry but when 
the Kardashian, Kim Kardashians of the likes are branded heroes for helping black people get out of jail when black men and women have been doing that for centuries and have been killed and their voices are not listened to for centuries are completely ignored but a Kim Kardashian who has her advantage is listened to the new deem Kim Kardashian the savior of black people completely diminishing the work of other black people by the way you cannot term yourself you cannot brand yourself an ally of black people it's like me saying I'm the greatest cook ever. You cannot brand yourself. That title has to be awarded to you based on the work that you do, the quality of the work that you do, the impact of it, and all of that. So you cannot brand yourself of an ally. Uh, that's one. Watching black trauma porn, it does not make you an ally. Um, posting Black Lives Matter on social media does not make you an ally. Okay. So to be an ally of black people, you have to really put in the work and not expect that the black person will be the one to speak up in the meetings about everything the one that brings things up while you support them in the back or privately or they have to be the one that initiate the conversation when you would literally be fighting to have a Starbucks across the street for, from you and you would protest and do what was needed but in your eye it is the responsibility of black people to do that no it's not it's everyone's responsibility and not doing so makes you just as racist as the active overt racist the same way making a social media post does not make you an ally about black with black people Having black friends does not make you an ally because here you are in private conversations saying you support black people, but when it comes to publicly coming out and actually act on it, you do not do so. And you have you support your friend behind the scenes. There is like this thing like when the pe people are protesting, they're like, "Oh, check on your black friends, call your black friends." Please do not call me. If you only care about me when you know there's something terrible going on, then clearly, one, we're not friends, okay? And two, I don't need your sympathy. You need to get your butt out there working. And when I see your face on the TV, I'll be like, okay, you're down for us. And that's what it is. To stay behind the scenes and always be calling your friend, yourself a friend of black people, you have black friends. And when it comes to it, you know, I remember at Ashland University, there's this girl and they would make like a lot of racist comments. It is a healthcare school. I went there for healthcare for my RN. And they would make a lot of disparaging comments about black people mostly as well as other groups of people. I remember um, they were talking and I, everyone knows me. So I don't take shit from nobody. That's just how I am. And I remember this, they were saying something. And, you know, we were, I remember I was looking at a couple of girls. They're looking at me because we're so uncomfortable. Not all of them were black. One of them was, um, both two of them were Asian. And finally I said something. And so the tone of whatever was going on kind of changed. And I remember we were on a break and the girl was like asking me, Oh yeah, you should have said this. You should have said that. My well, I did speak up. I did say something. Oh no, but I feel like you should have said this. You should have been more like that. Why didn't you say something? And that's what really pissed me off. You were there. You knew what was being done. You saw an injustice being committed, and you were relying on me, the black person who is already deemed the angry black woman, to take the fall, to take the negative feedback, while you who is not white revel and benefit from the consequences of whatever I have helped to change while you're trying to push me forward because I'm disposable and I tell you this person and I are not friends we're not acquaintances they are blocked because how dare you how disrespectful how do you feel like my black life does not matter we it's it's very exhausting because systemic racism works in such a way, in such an intricate way, in such a delicate way. It just flows so beautifully that every which way you do it, it still works. And that is the greatest, the worst part of it. That on every, every, every single subject, it succeeds. And it's very difficult to have a little bit of a win. And it's very frustrating to me. And I feel like no matter how much you want to change things, I don't see it happening anytime soon. 
if ever like everything would have to change from the bottom up like from the from the root of the problem and it's not being addressed properly so how can that happen it's just it's just a lot so anyway you guys that not to make this you know a sad video but you know this is my channel this is me this is what we talk about we talk about real shit here and thank you so much for watching I appreciate you for watching I appreciate you for coming back for subbing for sharing and um, I will talk to you guys later bye